What's up guys? Joshua Trademark Exotics here. Today I'm doing a video to compare a leopard puma, which is on the left, to a leopard ivory, which is on the right. The leopard puma is probably about four or five months older. This leopard ivory on the right here just shed out probably two weeks ago. So it's only got three or so meals in him. The one on the left, the Puma, is 100% Het Pied. They both have the same father but different mothers. This one I produced, um, the dad of both of them is a Super Leopard Yellow Belly Pied. And this one's mom was a Puma Pos Het Pied and it was a smaller clutch in her first clutch and she didn't prove out to be a Het Pied but Hopefully next year she will, but either way, this is a Leopard Puma 100% Het because the dad's a visual pod. And the cool thing about this girl on the right is I bred the same dad to an albino yellow belly female. So this girl here, I'm sorry, this male here is a Leopard Ivory 100% double Het for albino and pod. hatched a couple of them just this one male I'm gonna keep here maybe one of the females and I'll have a couple females available of the these here but the uh, this is the only one that I hatched out the Puma version but if you compare and contrast the two keep in mind this one's a lot brighter because it just hatched not too long ago this one was just as purple but it starts to fade just like most ball pythons do as they get older but there's obviously more striping in the ivory versions dorsal stripe is all yellow straight down and then you got the purple on either side and then it goes yellow again and this one's more wacky of a pattern like blotching down the each side of the dorsal stripe. It's crazy how just adding leopard into these combos, like the ivory and the puma, adds so much pattern. Can't wait to see what the super leopard versions look like and to get these obviously in pie and hopefully this one an albino pied also the head stamps a lot different the puma looks like a lot of puma heads do with just a little bit more pattern it's got that spotting instead of like a broad head stamp compared to the ivories which have a really broad head stamp This male actually has some like ringer ringers going on here, sort of. If you look real close, try to focus here. See that white coming in right there? And it goes onto the belly. Basically, the whole belly's white because they're hep pods. And that ringer comes to the other side as well doesn't go all the way around the back but it's a lot blushed out right here on either side very similar yet very different as well hope you guys enjoyed this one I'm gonna try to make more videos soon it's just with all these babies I gotta get everything situated first and then I'll start making a lot more videos once everything starts growing up a little bit I don't like really filming right when they come out of the egg I want to see I want to see them on film with at least a few meals in them they look a lot better more filled out
Look at that red pupil. Alright guys, see you later.